Hello angels and welcome to day eight. Mm, I think it's day eight. <laughs> I'm sorry if I got that mixed up. Uh, anyway, today I am very colorful and quirky. I was just kind of feeling more of the creative thing this morning. So I am wearing the Bolera Bee by Halogen uh, jacket that you guys had seen a few days ago. I'm absolutely loving it. Um, I don't love the material, I will say, because this is 100% recycled polyester and I'm not a fan of polyester. However, um, I made the sacrifice because it was on sale. I really love the style of it, etc. Um, so make sure you guys check labels to see what your clothing is made out of to make sure that investment-wise you personally feel that it's worth it. Um, but I loved everything about the jacket and uh, because it was on sale, I was willing to make the compromise. If it were full price, I probably wouldn't have bought it. Uh, anyway, minimal makeup on today. I've got a very subtle pink lip. And for my t-shirt, I am wearing this chambray shirt from Banana Republic that I have tucked into a very high-waisted pair of pink trousers that are from Zara. These are quite old Zara pieces. But I love that they were like a cropped ankle length and it kind of pulled the pink from the jacket. I don't know, I was feeling it. And then what I really wanted to wear today that kind of sparked the outfit as a whole were these sparkly sequin shoes from Aldo. I've had these since last year, I believe. <clears throat> and they're just like such kid-like shoes. But I love it. They have like, they have so much color in them. Big personality shoes and they're comfortable for walking around. So I'm just gonna own it and have some fun with my outfit. But we are on to shop with a client again this morning. This has been like a heavy shopping week with clients rather than like wardrobe sessions and stuff. So um, yeah, I need to get on the road because I don't want to be late. So come hang out with me while we go shopping. I've got a petite uh, working mama this morning who's around 5'1", she's very, very tiny, and is also a bargain shopper. So a lot of the clothing that she had, A, was not petite, and also was like very, very oversized on her, which is a common thing that I find um, for people that really love like Winners and Marshalls. I'm not saying this is always the case, just for people that are petite anyway, because they don't often carry anything petite uh, oriented. So anyway, we're gonna find her some really great professional pieces that are gonna suit her body shape, her personality style, and of course her budget. So let's metallic skirts or sequin skirts or something for the holidays um, don't forget you can also wear those during the day so let's say you get like a chrome or like gunmetal kind of sequin skirt or something you could pair that with like a leather jacket and some combat boots or just like even regular ankle boots and all of a sudden you'll have this really cool edgy outfit they can be used any time of year hi look at this guys I love a good bright jacket so nice to elevate your winter wear. How fab. Woo! Looks so good. So chic. <laughs> and this with the pop of color. Oh, and the boot cut. So good. Get that waist. It's so good on you. <laughs> oh my god, it looks so good. <laughs> hey angels, I am home now. It is um, almost 2.30. And I had so much fun with my client. I know I didn't show you much um, of the in-store process. We were busy, but we created some really fabulous outfits for her and uh, had a great, great time. We created like a full capsule um, wardrobe for her because everything I do with my clients, I make sure that the clothing I pull beforehand is, or excuse me, has the ability to ma uh, mix and match with everything else so it makes their life a little bit easier. But oh my gosh, she just looked so beautiful. And uh, she seemed really happy with her stuff, which is obviously the goal. So now I'm just making myself some lunch. I'm gonna make a salad quickly. And I'm going to hunker down and edit Vlogmas. 
and I think that's really gonna be the majority of my afternoon I might also try and take a nap because I have a headache and I want to go see my dad for an adjustment he's a chiropractor and uh, get rid of the headache that way but I can't um, I need to get some work done first so I won't be able to go see him until this afternoon so um, yeah so I might have a little bit of a lie down in the meantime um, yeah, and then tonight I am seeing an old high school friend. Her name is Sarah, and uh, she's a fab. She was living in the US for the longest time, and she and I only ever got to see each other like at best once a year um, when she came home for the holidays to see her family. And just recently, well, not totally recently, but she moved back home or got a job local in Canada again. And she moved back home last year for that job. So it's been so nice having her home. We got together a little bit more frequently last fall and early, like late winter, early spring. And then unfortunately, I mean, we're not like super close together. We're still a bit of a distance, but I haven't seen her since then, like the late winter, early spring, which is horrible. So anyway, we're getting, we're fixing that by going for dinner tonight. She's uh, vegan, so we're gonna go to a, or is she vegan or vegetarian? I always forget. I think vegan. Or maybe vegetarian with like a couple of different allergies she's aware of. Oh my God, isn't that terrible? I forget. Anyway, so we're going to this cute little local taco place. Um, that we actually went to last time she was around town and uh, we're gonna go there for some food And then I know she always loves trotting over to this vegan place. That's close by for some desserts So we're just gonna have some good old-fashioned hangout time and catch up It'll be so good seeing her because it's good been like at least six months since I saw her last which is terrible I just I as an adult like I cannot believe how fast time flies Like I just can't keep up with it some days honestly Hey guys, it is later in the evening now, as you can see. Um, I feel, or it looks a little bit darker in here because I only got the Christmas tree on and I've changed. Um, I was supposed to meet my friend Sarah for dinner, as I mentioned to you guys, but I have the worst, worst headache ever. It just like hit me out of nowhere. I think it's like more stress related, but I went to go see my dad who's, I mean, he's a retired chiropractor now, but um, it definitely made my headache easier after I've gotten an adjustment. So I know I just need to give it some time now. And uh, I might go see him again for an adjustment tomorrow morning or something if it's still there. I don't think it would be. Um, but just in case. Um, so anyway, for that reason, I canceled my dinner. I just, it was really like a horrible headache like behind my eye. Oh, that was just like pounding at my head. And I'm still not feeling fantastic. So I just wanted the lighting low. And um, yeah, I rescheduled with my girlfriend for next week. So you guys will meet her and see what she's like next week. Um, so for that reason, gosh, sorry guys, this might be a, like a short vlog today. I don't know how this is going to turn out because I know I didn't get much for you guys earlier. Um, we're going to do the advent calendars. I'm going to feed the puppies and, uh, yeah, we'll see where the night takes us. I actually think I might do like a bit of a self-care thing tonight since I'm not feeling like overly fabulous. So I might do a bath. Um, I might do a bath and just like snuggle up with a book something like that and kind of call it a night yeah you want some num nums i know that's what you've been waiting for you want some num nums want dinner it was not registered <laughs> this one got it oh <gasps> wait you want mommy to get some is that what you want oh oh you know what mommy said yeah does that mean we're going to get some yeah, okay. <laughs> oh look, he's like, yeah. <laughs> this is the only time you will see Oscar move more. Is when you're going to get dinner, huh? Yeah, when we know we're going to get dinner. Okay, come on. You can move in. Oh boy. Oh Oscar, you even did a full sit down. Good boy. Okay, get Oscar's first. There you go. And then Jasmine, because she's the sassiest one. Look at her. Jasmine. Some of you recommended a bowl that makes her slow down with eating. I did order that. <laughs> but part of the, she actually never used to be like this. She just loves the raw food so much. And she does it because she wants to get to his bowl. She has pushed both him and Riley out of the way before so she can get to theirs. Ah, 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 no. To look after I tell her off she goes back to like Jasmine look <laughs> don't 
Don't be jealous. You just had yours. Look. <clears throat> Excuse me. Get. It's so jealous. Okay, let's have a look at the advent calendar before I forget. Okay, so we are on day eight, I believe. Ooh, it looks like it's another eau de parfum. Is that what that is? Oh, it's an eau de toilette. This is their scent 34. I don't actually, oh, it's got a different bottom to it. It's red. I've never smelled this one before. So there's the vial. I don't know with a headache if I want to smell this right now, but we'll try. Ooh, this is really pretty. It's not my style, but Paula, if you're watching, this is right up your alley. So you may have a little travel vial coming your way. This is really, really pretty, but it almost reminds me of like um, Tom Ford smells. Like it's definitely got more of a like rich masculine smell, which I mean, I really, really appreciate. It's just typically for me, I tend to go for like lighter, more floral scents, somewhat citrus scents, or like maybe a little bit sweeter. I mean, this one is stunning. Like I really love the smell of it. See that art, I might have to ease myself into it, but I think it'd be better going to someone that would really appreciate it. So I'll probably give this to Paula. So Paula, if you're watching, I'll probably have a vial for you <laughs> when I see you next. So I'm editing. And what did you say? Sean was watching the last vlog, would you say? I said, who gives you seven dislikes? <laughs> He's so <Freaking> upset. Losers. <laughs> Sean's disapproval <laughs> of Yo, YouTube. If you don't like something, you just don't watch it. <laughs> now 9.30, I just finished editing a vlog. My headache is a thousand times better. I still feel not like fantastic, but it's much better than what it was. So I think what I'm gonna do is um, have a bath and just try and relax. I'm gonna read in the tub, have a glass of wine, and then maybe we'll make like a cup of tea together. And then I'm gonna call it a night. Um, yeah, so this vlog may end up being a lot shorter than what I've typically done, but I'm just not feeling 100%, so I really hope that you guys um, I hope that you understand. So I'm gonna wash my face because I don't want makeup soaking on my face while I'm having a bath and it's like steamy and whatnot, but I'll show you how, or what I put in the tub and what I put on like my bath tray and stuff like that. So let's prep the tub. guys just finished my bath well excuse the crazy hair I also washed my face with Margaret's stuff Margaret if you are watching this I love your products that cleanser um, that you gave me like everything smells so good and it feels like such a treat oh my gosh um, anyway um, my headache feels so much better guys like so much better after the bath a glass of wine and then coupled with my adjustment which is like the key element in there Oh my gosh, I feel like a new woman again. I have like almost zero left of that headache, which is phenomenal. So I know after a good night's sleep, I'm gonna feel great. And okay, angels, so let's have a peek at today's tea. Oh my gosh, this thing never stays open. I always say open it wrong. Okay, so we are on day eight. Where is day eight? Half of the fun is finding the numbers, but I never see where they are. Oh, down in the right hand corner here. Okay, let's see what day eight has in store. I love these black and white boxes the best, by the way. They're so cute. Okay, so today we have Zest Wishes. Zero idea what that is. Um, I'm all for a little zest. <laughs> 
Um, it looks like there's maybe some nuts in there. I'm not really sure. It's low caffeine, which is perfect. So let's brew this and see what happens. Wait, so many of you have been commenting and messaging through like Instagram and my Facebook and stuff that you guys have been loving Sean's meatloaf, which I did tell him. I'm so glad you guys are enjoying the recipe and you guys have asked for more. So I'm gonna be cooking a few things and I've asked Sean if he would make something else. If I can, I don't know if he'll agree, but I'm gonna see if he will make his cold, cold verde. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. It's a Portuguese. A what? What's a big negative? No. No what? <laughs> Shut up. You will, won't you? No. I will start a Patreon account. You start a what? Patreon account. What's a Patreon account? People can donate money. Oh, would you shut up? <laughs> so that people can continue to see my skills. Oh my god. <laughs> so, the cold verde is a Portuguese soup. Get it out of your mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a potato leek, uh, potato and leek soup, um, or potato and like kale, I think is actually what it is, with like a Portuguese sausage in it and stuff. It's phenomenal, like really, really good. Sean and I eat it all the time. It Would you hush? Oh my god, I don't know if you guys can hear him in the background. Anyway, if I can get him to make it, then I will let you know and <laughs> keep you posted. And of course, if he finally agrees, then I, of course, will share the recipe and put the recipe in the description box when that time comes but if not it might be some of the things that I love to cook as well that I'll be showing you guys so stay tuned I'll see what I can do hey guys so I'm just sitting here with my tea I'm gonna be calling it a night after this because it's already 10 30 I think um, and I need a good night rest so the tea itself um, I haven't tried it just yet but it smells like the zest I thought it was gonna have like a lemon scent to it but it smells like oranges to me what what? Imagine that. What do you mean? The zest. Why? You can have lemon zest. You can have orange zest. Yeah, but I thought I just assumed and it was citrus. lemon. Citrus. Okay. You can have zest. Okay, easy. Jeez. Another reason I should be paid for my skills. <laughs> Would you shut up? <laughs> oh, I love being married to him. <laughs> anyway. It's very orangey smelling, but it smells like there's a touch of cinnamon in here. Um, yeah, it just smells really good. I don't know if I'll be able, it's like really hot, so I don't know if I'll be able to have a sip yet. A little too hot. Mm, but it is really good. Really, really good. I'm gonna have more of that once it cools down. Um, but anyway, I'm going to chill out. I'm gonna read some more. I was enjoying my book. So I'm gonna crawl into bed probably with my tea. So I'm sorry if this vlog was a lot shorter, guys. I just wasn't feeling my best today, so I really hope you understand. But I will kick off again tomorrow. We have a lot of stuff we're gonna get into. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing the closet tours and stuff, and I'm gonna be doing a hooded eye tutorial in future. We're gonna get into some holiday looks. There's a lot of good things coming, you know? So I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Thank you for hanging out with me, even though it was maybe a little bit shorter than what I normally do. But I'm sending you guys all love to the moon and back, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.